last week i told you when gold closed at 1680 plus plus levels that buy at 1685 itself and do not sell gold till the time it trades above 1660 now see what we have achieved 1770 levels also if you recall i told you that if it passes the zone at 1740 1750 certainly you can consider gold as bullish and then we can achieve further highs now what to expect next we will see with the help of charts and indicators also one thing triple bottom this is what we saw i told you very clearly that it is formed triple bottom and there is a possibility of a pushback and precisely that has happened and i hope you all profited now in this analysis first we'll look into charts followed with indicators and towards the end of this analysis i will give you the trading level so next week do watch till the end do listen to it carefully and please do not forget to like share subscribe and comment pressing on the bell icon will keep you updated with the latest updates as i share my daily updates and daily targets so gold twice in a day one with the asia session next with the us cash session so do not miss those analysis as well let's start now see gold has broken this long term bearish channel in which it was trading it has formed triple bottom and it has reversed this is a strong breakout and yes when it has shown a breakout the possibility for it to hit 1800 and 1840 remains very very high now i will definitely wait and watch out for because this good move for last two weeks certainly has bought gold into overbought zone overbought zone in the sense that when most of the indicators gets overbought it does certainly brings a little little retracement on the downside and hence you have to be cautious till 1800 levels because those levels are definitely a good resistance a psychological resistance as well as you can see on the weekly charts it attempted 1800 uh, previously also got the strong resistance and the same time you can find out previously when it was trading above 1800 1800 gave a very strong support for gold to move down and thus you have to wait for 1800 levels till the time it trades below 1800 certainly that is an overbought level achieving those levels it can retrace possibly on the downside here or it may trade sideways so 1770s plus 30 minus 30 so 1740 to 1800 that could be one possible trading zone which we can expect next week but let's see further into details so this is on the weekly charts which we are seeing and also remember it has just side away from the support level set 50 90 1600 it is trying to reverse i'll wait and watch out for how it behaves at 1800 once it breaks past 1800 stay long further for 1840 1850 uh, zone first target and then 1880 1900 the next resistance now let's have a further look with the help of daily chart Now see on the daily charts i had told you that it has consolidated this is the first breakdown couple of retracement second breakout candle retracement third breakout candle and now this it has given a further bullish candle day before but look at the size of the candle you can find out that the bullishness is certainly diminished here you can find out that there is a smaller candle here and hence it may open flat here and probably try to retrace a little again till towards 1750 it can also give you a symmetry from here retracing again on the downside till the time it trades above 1700 we can certainly say that that should be considered a retracement only it should not be considered a reversal so reversal and retracement both are two different things you should consider it accordingly now see this is the bullish channel the bottoms are well connected here but the highs are still very much trading within this channel and hence it may get the resistance till 1800 probably achieving those levels it can try to retrace or it may in fact drop from here itself so if it tries to retrace or drop from here itself consider that it may try to achieve for the lows at 1740 which is a good support and then 1735 so 1735 40 zone you have to watch and observe if it breaks below this certainly we can expect that 1700 can be seen and it has reversed from there this is one part from the daily charts now let's also have a look on the 4 hour charts on the 4 hour charts you will find classical movement it has shown bottom up move consolidation up move single green candle consolidation single green candle and now look at this it is trying to trade in this upward channel you have to wait for it to breach past 
50 levels once it trades below 1750 you can short and then you can expect 1720 1700 and below levels so till the time it trades above 1750 please stay cautious and do not enter into shorts at the same time yes above 1775 you can expect 1780 1800 levels to be seen on the upside so this is on the four hour charts now let's come back to the monthly on the monthly charts we talked about three monthly candles getting precisely the support at same levels and then i had we had talked about that yes it is giving you lower highs and any breakout above this zone i did not expect that it is it it may give a breakout but then it has given a breakout and see what we have achieved now probably it is looking forward to achieve 1800 1795 1791 zone this is going to be very good resistance level breaking beyond which certainly you can expect more bullishness but remember one fact now this is the third week for the month and probably it may achieve those levels and try to retrace a little if it has to trade bullish for the next month it may give you a probable retracement on the downside else a probable closing of the month at the Maribuju at around 1840 1850 levels can happen and then next month also it may continue to retrace on the downside so just we are trying to explore what possibilities can arise for the next two weeks and yes the next week a very strong possibility that 1791 70 1800 levels to provide a very strong resistance and beyond that certainly you can stay long beyond that 18 1810 and 1830 1840 levels to get achieved if it continues to trade above this so this is one observation now see also remember this fact that gold is showing a retracement after a series of losing streaks for almost seven months and this is the first green candle also it is trying to recover the losses for last four months achieving 1800 levels possibility exists that it may try to attempt and achieve those levels before it looks over to a drop so this is on the monthly candle now let's have a look at the indicators here on the daily charts it is trading outside the bollinger bands there is a pullback which is must from either at these levels or achieving the highs but there is a pullback which is required it has to come back within this channel probably then hence it may get a stronger resistance at the same time look at this it is trading above the 20 50 and 100 period moving average also there is a possible crossover between the 20 and 50 period moving average this is a bullish crossover and possibility exists that if it continues to trade bullish there could be a crossover between the 20 and 100 period moving average also sustaining the bullish momentum we can see it flying in next few days but remember a little retracement is must and we have to wait for it if you are because see once things get overbought it has to retrace a little and hence you have to wait for that opportunity to show short do not just jump into the shorts and burn your hands just wait for the perfect opportunity till 1700 do not consider this as bearish below 1700 the next target is going to be 1670 levels which is going to be a very good support and only below this you can consider that as a bearish indication so this is one part of it on the daily charts next you can see the directional movement is extremely divergent and bullish here the stochastic is extremely over also look at the MACD the MACD is extremely divergent and extremely bullish here and possibly it has achieved the highs here you can see previously it was getting resistance here now it has breezed this and achieving the highs at almost 15 levels and hence a possibility of a retracement on the downside exists you can see it is trying to trade in this channel it has precisely achieved this now we can expect it to retrace again on the downside a little and hence you have to be cautious with the longs also look at the rsi this is entering into overbought levels and this is happening after beginning of this year this is happening first time after beginning of this this year indicating that there could be a little rise which can still come but then a drop is must so yes a possibility for achieving 1800 1820 1840 levels exist and then from there a sharp drop can be seen so till now it is it is still appears bullish but it is also overbought and hence you should what find out an opportunity to short from close to 1800 levels now look at the weekly charts on the weekly charts it is trading now above the 20 and 50 period moving average and trading below the 100 period the 100 period moving average now situated at around 1800 levels so for last two years the moving average for gold is 1800 levels on the weekly charts and hence uh, there is a strong probability that it may get the resistance there the directional movement is on the verge of a bullish crossover the stochastic is now looking overbought it is it was oversold 
previously now it has come back to comfortable levels now look at the MACD on the MACD there is a crossover you can find out there is a single bullish candle this is divergent and this is still bullish here and see the last crossover when it is this crossover is happening after long see the last cross crossover when it happened here it traded bullish for the period when it crossed over it traded bullish for the period and hence it indicates that there is a probability that gold might trade into this bullish zone for a little while and hence another week of bullishness cannot be denied you have to be careful also remember this crossover is happening at the oversold levels and hence it can be considered a potential reversal also remember this fact we have to wait and watch for 1840 levels definitely breaking below 1840 1850 levels you can remain long on gold for a further while and you can expect that we may see stronger bullish momentum to continue taking it till towards 2000 levels in near future now see the rsi is looking upwards on the weekly charts and it is probably now trying to enter into overbought levels let's see if it does now coming back to the monthly charts on the monthly charts you will find that gold is bounced back from the bottom here achieving the bottom levels from the 50 month average it is reversed now 20 months average is situated at around 1800 definitely it is going to provide a good resistance also there is a bearish cross which has happened now again looking forward to a bullish cross the stochastic was oversold and now looking upwards indicating that probably it may continue with the bullish momentum also look at the MACD the MACD is on the verge of a bullish crossover let's see if it does it will take couple of months more for it to cross over the RSI is looking upwards. So we have seen the charts, we have seen the indicators, time for us to define the strategy and time for us to define the levels for next week. And before I give you the levels, yes, if you want to learn this art of trading profitably, identifying the trends, identifying the right opportunities for you to enter, identify the right exits, you should join my mentorship batch. The last batch for this year now is going to start on 28th of November and this is going to be the last batch for this year this is the 17th batch the next batch is only going to be in next year and hence join this batch and make your new year pledge successfully and you can become a profitable trader for the year 2023 do not miss this opportunity reach out to me for more details my telegram id my email id my patreon id everything is mentioned in the channel and video description now also you can be part of my signals group look at the wonderful profits we have gathered thousands and thousands of pips in just one month in multiple opportunities multiple instruments and join my signals channel definitely you can profit reach out to the same ids for the details on on signals or my mentorship badge now for next week yes i will recommend you to buy at 1775 levels now see beyond 1775 you can expect that we are looking at 17 84 1792 and then 1798 then 1801 now see these are very nearby resistance level and probability exists that here in this zone it is going to get the maximum resistance now if it breaks past 1801 it will certainly catch more bullish momentum but still i will say the next target zone for me is 1836, 1840 levels. I will sh show you with the help of charts why 1833-36, those who follow me since long, why, remember why 1833-36 levels are very, very important. We have seen multiple weeks, multiple months getting the resistance there at same levels and hence you have to be cautious till there. There you can expect 1810, 1818 and then 18. 33 these levels are going to come after long remember these are certainly very good resistance level and beyond that we can expect 1850 beyond that it is going to fly high sky is the limit on the upside on the monthly and weekly charts still there is a scope but i expect if it, it has to remain bullish for the month of december it has to retrace a little for these next two weeks and possibility exists that it may come down if it breaks below 17 40 45 zone certainly we can see 1700 levels again so this is another observation and hence now on the downside where you should sell I will recommend you to sell only at 1750. 
only below 1750 you should take a sell opportunity then one can expect that 1744 1739 now if it trades below 1739 we can certainly expect more bearishness but see on the downside there are going to be very strong resistances and 1720 then i will look forward to 1700 directly remember 1700 is a very good support now for gold only if it breaks below 1700 consider this as bearish then 1691 1670 levels to be seen and below that it may break strongly i don't think so that this is going to happen but yes there could be a retracement possible on the downside or there could be a swing possible on the upside 1800 should be a good resistance 1700 on the downside is a very good support a little swing between in between these levels for the next two weeks is very much possible for gold Hence, take your trades accordingly, trade with a stop loss, trade with a trailing stop loss. Remember this fact, this is going to be the next important and strongest resistance zone. Achieving these, possibly we may see a very good reversal. So this zone at 1800 and then 1833-36 levels, you have to watch out for. Take your trades accordingly, trade with a stop loss, trade with a trailing stop loss. Thank you very much. Have a great profitable trading week ahead. Thank you.